Why a day of anger? Sorry? Why a day of anger? Why a day of anger? Yeah. It's very interesting. We just saw this movie about the early days of the women's movement. And the thing that mobilized people was the rage and anger about the repression of women at that time. It wasn't that you acted violently, but you used the anger to mobilize you. So it's not about the acting, uh, uh, acting anger out, but using the energy of anger to mobilize you. And I think that's what's happening. We don't have to act in an angry ways. We have to use our anger to speak from. I would say that it's about black people being okay with their identity, finding themselves and finding their voice and not wanting these things to kind of go on anymore. Do you think police, New York police is racist? I believe that I have been myself subjugated by New York City police. I know that I have a lot of friends who have as well and I know that I have a lot of family members who have as well and I know that all of them, including me, are black and Latino. Well, for me, it's not a day of anger. It's a day of looking at myself. Every day is a day of looking at myself. This is looking at myself. Up in the sky in the helicopters, I'm looking at myself. I'm not here because I think I'm more enlightened than anyone else. I live in a racist culture and I have racism in me because of that culture. And I'm here to confront myself. It's about the police murdering People. people. It's about the police about murdering the, right. the black men. It's about the police murdering the minorities. Innocent people. It's about the government allowing it to happen Don't and shoot. that do nothing about Don't shoot. My son was murdered Don't shoot. 20 years ago Don't on December 22nd. Don't shoot. And Don't shoot. nothing has been Don't done shoot. about it. Do you think the police of New York is racist? Do I think the police are... I don't really know. I think there's racist behavior in this country and, the, and people in power have the ability to act that out. But I don't know if the police per se are racist, but we all have a propensity for that. And when you have a lot of power and you have a gun, it's very easy to be swept along by those sentiments. Why is it anger? Well, this is a country that supposes uh, principles of equality and human rights and we are very, very, uh, we're feeling very sad that these rights and that these principles are not being held and that we care about them very, very deeply and it hurts the human spirit to see other human beings being systematically uh, uh, abused and uh, not heard from and treated abominably. So it's our duty, our responsibility as humans to stand up and say we need to stop this. We need to pay attention and to look at our behavior. It seems that when there's fear and there is frustration, that that can spill out in violence. So the police clearly are afraid. And as to what inspires their fear needs to be addressed, uh, whether it's real or imagined. And this is what we're looking at in these cases. Is there a better way of handling one's fear than with the gun and through violence? You think police dresses here, New York police? Well, I think that our society is, because of our history, I think our society is, is racist. And we've all been raised with this invisible sense of uh, different classes of citizenship. So the fact even now we have a black president has brought this out even more clearly. The number of people who are not happy about having a black man in the White House. Why day of anger? Day of anger? Oh, yeah. because sometimes anger is absolutely necessary. I'm a Buddhist teacher, and people think that we, we don't get angry, but I'm very angry. I've been angry for a long time about this, and it's an important thing to be angry about. In this country, we have a history, a terrible, bloody, violent history that is just being reenacted and reenacted 
and we have to stop it. And that's what this kind of demonstration does. It, it helps to make us seen, make us known that we want this to stop. What do we want? Justice! What do we want it? Now! What do we want? Justice! When do we want it? Now! Hands up! Don't shoot! Hands up! Don't shoot! Hands up! Don't shoot! Hands up! Don't shoot! Why is it your anger? Why is it your anger? Because there's no justice. People are getting away with murder and there's no justice. You think all police are members of crisis? No, not all of the police. Three bad cops don't Black Lives Matter. And do you think New York police is racist or not? Yeah, I think some of them are. <laughs> I don't think the majority of them are. It's, you know, and, you know. The other ones, just the ones who aren't, the good ones. Hey, how you doing, Mitch? They uh, cover it up or, you know, they turn the other way. Yeah. Society? Um, no, I don't. Not all of society. Otherwise, there would be some changes. Why they render? I am here not only because there are instances of racial injustice in all over the country, but this is also happening in university campuses across the country. I work at a university, and also we have had instances of injustice in our own campus. Yeah. Police of New York is racist or not? It's it's a system. It's a problem of the system. It's not of a one one particular police corp. It's an issue of a whole system in which police are trained to profile based on race, and they tend to suspect, and that is associated with uh, minorities also being impoverished and being also in dangerous neighborhoods, and so there tends to be more profiling to people who are of brown or black uh, color. Why do they have anger? Um, because of the ongoing police brutality in this country and because they are unfairly targeting black people and the lack of indictments in the case of Eric Garner and Michael Brown shooting most recently, but I also think it's just an ongoing problem and people have reached a tipping point and they're rising up in anger. Society as a whole, I think, is unfortunately divided, um, but I think that I hope that many people, many members of society will support this. My personal circle uh, network, yes, is supporting this. Don't shoot! Heads up! 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 I think today is about it's about life and life in general that matters and it should matter to everybody, not just by the color of your skin. The day of anger and it's a day of rage. Show love and have love. You have to have anger against the things that prevent us from loving each other. We cops' lives matter, white lives matter, but black lives don't seem to matter, or brown lives, or poor lives, or anyone who dissents. And resistance is acceptable. Resistance is a must. And white silence is bad. White silence is complicity. It seems that cops because they have the gun and all they have to say, their lives were in danger. There is violence every day, the way people are forced to live with poor education, poor housing, that's violence. Being disrespected and ignored is violence. So we want justice and without